So this is what my nails look like. Oh, they look so bad. I kind of wish that I picked today when my nails were in a little better condition. This is real life, people. Anyway, we're gonna sort it. The most important thing when you're applying fake nails is not the type that you're using, but actually the size that you're using. If you apply the wrong size, they do not look great. The majority of people will have an index finger and a ring finger that are pretty much the same. Then your pinky will be about two sizes smaller than that. Your middle finger is usually one size up from your ring finger and then your thumb is usually two to three sizes bigger than your index finger. Does that make sense? Okay. You have to make sure that they fit perfectly. They're like shoes. You have to get the right size. Um, do apologize if you hear me clicking. I have JHS, which means that my joints click a lot. So if you can hear clicking, that's my joints happens a lot. These are the nails that I use. They actually do have petite ones as well. So if you have a very small nail bed, petite is the way to go. I'm gonna be using the regular oval. It's not sponsored by Nailene. I don't think I've ever been sent anything by Nailene, to be honest. I find the easiest thing is to lay out your nails in pairs so you're not gonna mix and match and end up getting glue everywhere. It just makes it simple. So I start off with the pinky always. It's the first thing that you wanna find. When you get a packet of nails, go for the smallest size and have a look to see if that fits your pinky. And it should slide really nicely on the nail bed. There's no glue on this. I'm just trying it on. Fits really nicely on there. It shouldn't creep over to the edges. If it does, file the sides. If it feels like it's a little small and you can still see your nail, then you need to go up a size. That's the first one. I then do my index because that's the next size up. My index finger is actually smaller than my ring finger, even though my index finger is actually bigger in size, ring size, compared to my ring finger. The nail bed is smaller and that's what we need to look out for. So what I find that I have to do with my index finger is that the size is somewhere in between. So what I do is I kind of manipulate the edges and sort of push them down, and warm them up between your fingers and then slightly push the edges and that actually makes them bigger. So if it's slightly in between two sizes, that's a great way to kind of make it slightly bigger. Ring finger is next, index finger. And then we have the thumb. So let's actually start applying these babies. A lot of brands just put on really cheap glue. It means that nails fall off and then you have to buy more. That's how they get you. But nailing I have a really long lasting glue, so I love it so much. Before you start applying, be extra careful with nail glue. Don't have pets or kids around. This stuff is flammable. It can make you go blind. One time I set my hand on fire because of nail glue. I was lighting candles on a cake and all my hands went on fire. This stuff is dangerous. So I just apply a little dot applied a little bit of glue just on there. I don't put any on the actual nail itself because that's enough usually. Hold it then for a few seconds and it should set pretty well. You wanna make sure you don't have any glue coming around the edges. If you do, I would take a piece of cardboard and just scrape that off or even like a piece of plastic and scrape that off. If you use tissue, it'll just stick to your hand. Don't use tissue. As long as you apply a very even thin layer, you're good to go. And that'll be on there solidly now. That ain't coming off. Other side. On average, this takes me about five minutes. Make sure you don't stick your skin to the actual nail. So once I apply it, I pull down the skin like this to make sure that there's no glue on my skin that will stick to the nail. But that's why it's really important not to over apply the glue. See, there's absolutely no glue coming around this edge whatsoever, and that's what we want. Do not push it underneath your cuticle and make sure it's not touching your cuticle either. A lot of people will file their nail bed in order to help it have something to hold on to. However, I find for me, my nails are so dry that I don't need to. Oh, this glue is not sticking. Sometimes the product can kind of separate. So what I want to do is pop the lid on and give it a shake. And now it is sticking perfectly. Other side, probably because I didn't put the lid on in between each application. And then there you go, much, much better. You might need to file the tops of these, however, because sometimes they can have a little bit of a rougher edge. The great thing is nail polish is super long lasting when you apply them over the top of this because the nail polish is sitting basically on plastic. The nailing ones are the ones that I wear day to day, but I do treat myself to the occasional fancy pair like these ones by Kiss. Elegant Touch have some great ones. Primark have some great ones too. These are Tinkerbell ones. How cute are they? And they're only two euro and they're always going on sale. As long as you get the sizing right, you are good to go. I'm gonna actually paint these. This is a new collection by Lancome. Look how gorgeous they are. And that is our look finished.